I really want to talk about some real stuff right now. So, if you are a virgin now, stay a virgin until you get married. If you are not a virgin now, stop having sex until you get married. Why do I say this? Let me say this first though. I know that it is advertised so much in TV shows music, your peers, everywhere else. I know that it is advertised so much in these areas about you should be having sex or sex is so great, you are missing out, so on and so on. But what is not advertised is the demons that you are going to receive when you have sex before marriage. And the more people you have sex with, the more demons you are going to receive. It all adds up. And the stronger your demons get, so the more demons you get and the stronger they will become, the more you do it. So let's say that one day you want to stop. Let's say that you want to be a Christian now, a true Christian, not one of those false, fake Christians. And you want to stop it all. But because of all of those sexual encounters, it is much more difficult to stop it. For instance, myself. I am not trying to brag or anything like that. I was very sexual back in the past. I wish I wasn't. And let me say this too. Um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> yes, I was very sexual back in the past. And I am paying for it. Because why? You reap whatever you sow. So, the reason why I was doing it so much back in the past, because it was more like a pride thing and an ego issue. You know, I wanted to brag to other guys, you know, dumb things like that. Which really gets old after a while. Because... No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> not going to say it. But anyways, I did many wrong things sex-wise to people. I may have said that wrong. Having sex before marriage is wrong, and I did that many times. And honestly, if I found out that... Should I say this? <laughs> I would even try to mess with other people's wives. I'm serious. And I know for sure one time I did. I forget if those other women were married. I don't know. But anyways, a lot of wrong things. And I am serving God now. And this may be my third or fourth year, maybe third, I don't know. And I still get tempted with sexual things. Why? Because I fed my demons so much back in the past. So they are trying to get me back. This is what you need to understand. The more you do it, the more demons you are going to receive and the stronger they are going to become. So when you want to change, it is going to be much more difficult. And when you do change, they are going to attack you harder. You see myself, for instance,
What example can I use? Let's say that there is a sin that I never done. I am not going to have temptation for that sin because why? I never done it. So your weakness may be alcohol. Your weakness may be taking drugs and stuff like that. The more you do it, the harder it will be to stop it. So what I am trying to say is that, to be honest, if you are able to, don't have sex at all unless you know that that woman or man that you are trying to get with now you are going to be with them forever and there is no sure way that you can know that but in on in all honesty if i had a second chance at this i would never ever have sex ever because what is that word I'm looking for sex is what is that word overflated or over something overrated yes it really is it is not as great as you may think it is because <laughs> I'm telling you you are going to pay more than what it is worth, by far. Yes, you may have an ego like, hey, you know, all the guys like me or all the girls like me, blah, blah, blah. But in the end, you are going to pay if you do it in the wrong way. Sex before marriage, fornication, adultery, so on and so on. Really? Really take heed to this, please. I don't want you to make the same mistakes as I did. So, God bless.